Hi there, it's Anthony from Cotswold Mushrooms and Helen behind the camera. Say hello, Helen. Hello. Uh, so, as promised, I'm going to show you how to make one of these, the HEPA filter fan. So, first of all, if you don't know what one of these is, then really it's used for any sort of culture work within mycology and mushroom cultivation. The idea being that you've got air being pushed through this HEPA filter, and this HEPA filter here is an F9 quality or grade so that it only lets through particles which are sized 0.01 or something like that. So no bacteria can get through, no viruses can get through. So the air's been pushed through, so you've got sterile air in front of it. And that's where obviously you do all your culture work, anything that you want to do that where you want it to be nice and clean. So that's the idea behind it. So it's really helpful, really handy. Um, this is gonna be a demonstration of how to build one for sort of home growers or micro farms, things like that. And um, if you're scaling up into something a bit more commercial, then you'd probably wanna invest a bit more money. But this all together is pretty simple and it costs probably less than a hundred pounds. Okay, so let's talk you through it. First thing is you need a fan. So this is the back of the HEPA filter fan and you can see the fan situated in this box here that I've created. It's a pretty standard 18 inch fan that um, I've taken off the front, I'll show you. So this is the front, I've just taken the front off of the fan when I bought it, it just unclips. And also you need to take the leg off. So this is the leg where the fan would have sat originally. Um, so you want to buy one that's similar to this because then you can unscrew it and then use those screws which are attached to the side of the fan to then screw through on the side of your created box. So the tricky bit is, is really trying to make sure that the box is just over 18 inch, which is just wider than the fan so that it sits nicely and you can use the screws there to attach it to the side. So the box um, frame needs to be bigger than 18 inches, but the inside of it um, needs to um, house the fan just right. And also you need to think about the HEPA filter in itself. The back of the HEPA filter needs to be as close to the fan blades as possible, but obviously not so close that it's going to end up ripping into the filter itself. So that's it really. I hope that's helpful. And this is a pretty basic but functional and workable HEPA filter fan.